Welcome to the NASCAR and NBC podcast. I'm your host, Nate Ryan. Today here at our NBC Sports Charlotte studios, where we're joined by one of the newsmakers from this past weekend, Ross Chastain. Not exactly in the news the way he would want to be, but unfortunately that's frequently the story with Ross. He's, he's making headlines both good and bad in NASCAR, but it's great to have him here. We're talking here on the Tuesday after the Iowa Speedway race, which Ross technically won uh, for about an hour, and then afterward, he hadn't won it. So uh, we're also about, uh, what, probably 16 hours away or so from your appeal hearing. Um, so I, I don't want to get into everything that happened, Ross, at Iowa in terms of the, the disqualification and like that, but just you know, tell us about the appeal. Like, are you going to attend the appeal hearing? How is that going to work? Right. When does this podcast go out? It, it's it's going to go out. This part of it will go out tonight okay yeah, yeah. so um because that, that that'll that obviously in, is so, yeah. yeah when when people hear this podcast i'm sure most of them are going to already know the results but okay yeah yep um so yeah i mean it was a decision on the team side um to to pursue the the appeal i, I don't have any experience with it so uh i support them 110 percent um mm-hmm. really 100 percent because you can't give more than 100 percent so um the good thing for me and, and the the group of guys on the truck and and road crew, pit crew, and, and engineers, and everybody that supports the two Nice trucks, um, three at times, we we know that, that we went and we, we spanked them like we stomped them in the dirt, and I don't apologize for that. Um, Brett was closer at the end than I thought he would be, um, but uh, static tech height for ride heights uh, post-race is not what won us that race, and, and I can sleep good knowing that we're bringing the same truck back to Gateway, and we're going to have a shot to even though I've only start and parked a truck at Gateway last year, oh, it's really? my only experience yeah. there. Um, but we're gonna have a chance to win. Yeah. So, so will you attend? The I will. You will. Y- okay. Yeah, I will. Um, talk to, to Cody Fall, our general manager, and um, Al flew in. He wasn't at Iowa. Um, Your owner, it, team owner. Uh, yeah, Al team Nies. owner Al Nice. Um, so he flew in yesterday. Just come to shop, and and um, you know it's been some uh, very very upset people involved and Al included and, and obviously all of us um, for the way a lot of things were handled and the way that some people acted that we you know thought were a little better than that so um, definitely not going to get into naming names but um, just just everybody just there was some things handled that that you just not how you handle things mm-hmm. so um, a lot of us were upset I was more upset about the people side not even the call or the the, the DQ um, I, I'm I'm well, however it works out, I'm, I'll be fine with. I know that we won straight up, um, and because uh, dynamic ride height is on the ground, you're you're on the racetrack scraping the ground all the way around, and everybody is, and then you have to get it back up. Um, and ours didn't come up. That's that's why it didn't come up. I don't know. Um, mm-hmm. They're still trying to figure that out. Um, but I'm I'm good with the fact that that we have race winning trucks, and we can go out and win. A bunch of races we're going we're going to go for our third win of the year at at gateway yeah so unfortunately you're the guinea pig here i mean you're in uncharted territory nascar institutes this new policy this year that they're going to dq winners this way uh so it's hard to ask this but do, do you like your chances on appeal do you guys feel like you have a case do you do you know i guess it's somewhat unprecedented so maybe it's hard to be able to yeah gauge I mean, that. how do you nobody ever swap points uh willingly <laughs> part way through the year and um, my, my, my thing is, man, I've moved on. Um, I'll be there for it. I'll listen. If they want me to speak, I'll speak. But, mm-hmm. uh, I mean, we gave my eight race head start. What's one more race. I mean, how <laughs> big of a head start do these guys need in the points? So, um, no issues on my end, hundred percent confidence. Uh, don't want to sound cocky, but I am confident because I know what it's like to not have speed and you're struggling and, and you don't have the resources and we have the resources. Now we don't have all the funding, mm-hmm. but it, it, it was a, it was a very big swing this week not winning that money once we thought we did, even though we didn't go there. We went there preparing to win it, but you don't put that into the budget. Yeah. Uh, but it definitely would have filled some holes uh, that we have. So uh, we just got to find another way to do that. And that's, we're busy um, plugging away, trying to work with our existing partners and trying to bring on new ones, just like everybody in the sport is. Right. Yep. So that was a $50,000 bonus that unfortunately got also snatched away by this, this NASCAR call. Uh, and also a 55-point swing, which you're trying to get into the top 20 in the truck points before the end of the regular season and win a race to qualify for the playoffs. You have six races remaining yep. in the regular season, yep. and 
Yeah, I can tell just by looking at you and hearing you. I mean, you're you're confident you guys will win another race and yeah. we'll make the top 20 in points. Yeah, there's there's no question. I mean, even if it doesn't all work out, it was still the right call. Um, it set us up to go even for just for these uh, triple truck challenge races uh, that I would not have been able, you know, allowed to compete in per another NASCAR rule. It is we're a little salty, like I'll be honest, right? So we're a little uh, <laughs> a little you know uh, wide eyed right now because we are the first ones to have a win taken away and and mm -hmm. just the, the the trickle down and the repercussions of that will will be falling out there's it will be fallout from this for us for a long time and um i mean it shook al niece and all of us to our cores mm -hmm. on on what are we doing why are we doing this um we 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 al's prepared for years to win races with his race team this is year three or four um and the amount of in investment and infrastructure he's put up to to put into this race team and and to get your second win and, and they take it away um is uh it, I, I think it really made him think about why are we why is he doing this and, mm -hmm. and is this worth doing i mean it it did and he's a guy that wears his emotion on his sleeve just like i do and and he's honest and he came in the shop yesterday and had some some for me, very bone jarring words that that was like, holy cow, this could have a really bad effect on on my on all of our futures, his included in NASCAR and mine with his truck team. Um, and, and I feel like I'm, you know, um, he's been the springboard for me to compete for wins this year so far on top of uh, you know having chances in the 10 car with colleague and nutrient ag solutions. So um, it's it's scary stuff right now and it's um that's why we just need it we we we, we will and we we will we will go win this weekend and we will keep winning hey motorsports fans thanks for watching make sure you hit subscribe before you go for all the latest news and highlights across motorsports